when we first started because they couldn't put it in the day program. So the idea was to try to get the best students from the fine arts discipline to come to the school, work together, and do something that's beyond whatever their school could offer. And that's what MPSA is all about. For about four years, it was just theater and dance, and we had approximately 45 students in our conservatory program. Over the next few years, um, we added visual arts and media, and now we have six different programs. There's, there's been a lot of changes in the School of the Arts in the last 20 years, and I think the place that you'd see the most uh, extreme changes has been in our digital media program. It started as a publication program, where it just was creating the yearbook and uh, doing some photography work, and then it's developed into something where now it's aiming at the kinds of visual arts you would create in the 21st century. One of the most outstanding things about being part of the mid -Pacific School of the Arts is that media arts is a discipline recognized by MPSA. Uh, media arts is still being defined currently in the art world and it's really rare to see schools that focus on the arts to integrate media arts in a uh, very focused and disciplined way. We are very fortunate that we have a faculty that is composed of professional dancers and there's such a different world in when you're able to have the academic background behind yourself as a dancer but also having had the experience experience of performing around the world. Yeah, I think our program is unique in that from the time they're in the program, the goal, one of the main goals is for the student to build a portfolio of their work. They are constantly working on individual pieces that may eventually end up in a portfolio that they can present for college admissions. It is the vehicle of hula that shapes them as individuals, as more positive people. Coming together from all different uh, backgrounds is really what life is like, and for them to have this microcosm where they can actually work together and learn together, love each other and accept each other. That's really what I feel Hula here is at the high school level. Uh, really students who get involved in the certificate program kind of find a family within the School of the Arts. You see again and again students coming back to, to visit or to be involved or to support the programs in some way shape or form. I feel like it's part of the school overall. Uh, every student of course has to take two years of art at, at Mid-Pac and I think that the School of the Arts is um, another component in the school's overall goal towards uh, creating well-rounded 21st century learners and, uh, and citizens. Learning the fact that it's going to be the 20th anniversary, um, it means a lot to me. I feel like uh, I'm very proud to be MPI and it speaks to the legacy of the school. What's very exciting is to see where the School of the Arts came from and where it is now. When we first started the School of the Arts, nobody knew about us. We are the only school in the entire state of Hawaii that has pre uh, professional conservatory type training for high school students. And it's been 20 years and now people know if you want to study the arts, you go to Mid-Pac.